India recently unveiled a multi-model approach to offshore wind energy expansion. Parameters such as light detection and ranging based wind resources and bathymetry were meticulously assessed. Based on this evaluation, eight zones of the coasts of Gujarat and Tamil Nadu were identified as potential offshore wind energy zones. On October 6, 2015, When India unveiled the National Offshore Wind Energy Policy, it established a regulatory structure for offshore wind energy growth, spanning up to 200 nautical miles from the coastline and encompassing the country's exclusive economic zone. Currently, India has set forth ambitious plans to auction 37 gigawatts of offshore site leases over the next 7 years, spanning until fiscal year 2030. Three distinct models for offshore wind development have been outlined. Model A, a 1 gigawatt model where a developer will bid for a power purchase agreement with Solar Energy Corporation of India to construct projects at two sites, each with a capacity of 0.5 gigawatts in Gujarat and Tamil Nadu respectively. A 4-year construction and commissioning period is allotted, extendable by a year. Model B. This 14 gigawatt model has exclusivity over seabed during the study and survey period. The developer will participate in site lease allocation through competitive bidding based on the proposed seabed lease fee. The survey period spans 2 years and construction must be finalized within 3 years from the date of signing the concession agreement. Model C. This 22 gigawatt model does not have exclusivity over seabed during the study and survey period developers will bid for project development or seabed allocation provided they have completed the necessary survey there are some challenges in these models like a mismatch in the timelines allowed for surveys model a and model c provide a construction period of 4 years for developers while model b stipulates a 3 year construction period Additionally, Model C has been granted a 3 year survey period whereas Model B allows for only 2 years. Offshore wind energy development needs to be strategically integrated into the broader blue economy framework it can drive. For this, there is a need to comprehend the challenges and gaps. For example, a comprehensive resource mapping covering the total length of the 7000 km long coastline needs to be done. Along the way, the country will make necessary course corrections in technology, enablers, and the entire value chain.